Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. For those of you that are new, my name is Maggie and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another Halloween recipe. Um, this is how I like to make my caramel apples. Now I don't dip the apples in the caramel because I have yet to master that without the caramel just coming right off. So what I do instead is I hollow them out and I fill them up with caramel and decorate them with whatever I want. I guarantee you it's just as delicious. Your kids are gonna love doing it just as much and it's really easy. So if you wanna see how they come together, make sure you keep on watching. All right, so for this, you're gonna need some apples. All I did was cut them in half and just kind of um, scooped out not all of the middle but just enough to get the caramel in here you're gonna need um, decorations of your choice so I'm using M&M's those are my favorite and then two sets of sprinkles two tablespoons of water and then your caramel in a non-stick pot all right so to my caramel pieces I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of water I'm gonna turn the heat on to like medium-high and I'm just gonna mix this while it melts and then once it melts we'll pour it into our apples we just have to work really quickly because caramel hardens quite quickly so um, just babysit your caramel and I'll see you in a few minutes all right my caramel is completely melted and I meant I made a mistake you're gonna want to cook this on medium low not medium high you'll burn your caramel I'm gonna pour it in into my apples and I keep them on um, muffin pans because uh, crap it's fine all right because then they stay up all right so I added two extra apples I had some caramel don't mind that that's the sink going and now I just decorate so decorate it however you want just work a little bit faster because it's gonna set before you know it so just put on whatever you'd like some sprinkles, more M&M's, get the water, sorry. So you're gonna decorate these however you want. You're gonna put them, I put them in my fridge to set completely before I cut into them. And I cut them into little slices. That way it eliminates the mess of the kids, you know, getting their hands all dirty and I don't know I just I don't like stickiness so for me this is perfect all right so thank you so much for joining me I hope you like this final Halloween recipe as much as I do um, make these with your kids you do the caramel and they do the decorating and I guarantee you that they're gonna love it and they're gonna ask you every year to do it and not only are they going to love decorating, they're going to love eating it. So thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.